just want to open up um, for Q and A for anyone that's listening just now. So um, there, there's no questions currently in the the box, but someone has just popped one in just like that. So uh, Keenan, do you want to read that out for us? And cool. Uh, can you guys hear me all right? Uh, so this is from Katie. Um, Katie says hello. As a design student, a way to graduate this year. Is there any advice you could give to help? ease any worry or anxieties around 2020 graduates you can jump in first if you want um so i think if you're you know if you yeah of course it's going to be the market's going to be a little bit more challenging however i still think there's going to be jobs for people um now to to make sure that you you're going to be one of the people that are picked for for a job um i I would start to try and kind of find your voice online and i know that's a bit that's a bit hard it's not the easiest thing for everyone especially if you're you know slightly scared of that but if you you know if you can kind of um, find your your way of how to do that. Now, some people some people prefer written words, so they're comfortable writing blogs. Some people can do videos. Some people can record podcasts. But I think if you can show, if you're looking for a job, if you can show any sort of future employer that you're really passionate about what you do, that you're going to have a better opportunity than someone who's not done that. So you know, if you imagine in any agency like you know Lewis and, and, and my, my agencies. Um, made brave and campfire we get hundreds of cvs in every single month um and you know i suppose the ones that stand out are the ones that we can see clearly just have a passion and would be doing these things um whether they had a job or not so i just spent the last hour and a half on skype with my friend robin from uni um straight after we both were watching the uh zoom podcast uh just a chat with live from made brave what a title um that was actually really nice because me and my friend Robin, we we usually go to lots of design events together. It was actually um, a month ago since we were at the, uh, oh no, it'll be a bit more than a month ago, uh, the Kerning the Gap event together, which was fantastic. And yeah, it just feels really nice to, to still feel like there's a design community. I mentioned it last week in my last vlog that it kind of sucks how everything's falling apart. But to kind of stay in touch and to talk about design and we were showing each other our work was really nice. So we're going to try and make that like a weekly thing, which I'm looking forward to. In other news, while I was on that call, I got a text from Nathan about the hard grind video. Nathan's such a good lad. I'm so happy to be working with the guys. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Actually, no, I say I'm going to do that for the rest of the day, but... I signed up for a portfolio review tomorrow night, so I'm going to try and get my website up to scratch. I kind of started editing it earlier on today, but I'm now going to sit down and properly go through it, upload some new content, collate it, make it look kind of nice, and hopefully have something I'm ready to show for tomorrow. Hello everyone, today is Tuesday? Yeah. God, it's so hard to keep track of days right now. <laughs> I'm only two days into the vlog, what? So today I'm gonna work on editing last week's vlog. I'd ideally like to get it done today so that I can post some stills onto my Instagram. I like thinking about my Instagram in a grid. I know I shouldn't, but it kind of keeps me like organized if I kind of know what I'm going to post next. So I basically have to edit my vlog so I can grab so I can grab some stills so I can post them on Instagram before I can post the hard grind video. Um, basically that's my plan.
so I think maybe we get started. Uh, Rach, you want to kick us off? Brilliant. Well, hello everybody. I'm Rachel Brown, and thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful Tuesday night. If you're in anywhere in the central belt, you'll be enjoying some sunshine. Um, if you're not, I hope it's not too bad where you are. So I'm Rachel and I'm part of Creative Entrepreneurs Club and I'm just going to talk very quickly about the series that we're going to do around our webinars on a Tuesday. So I've just had an email come through from the Young Creative Council asking if I want to have a crit tonight. Uh, this morning I did say that there wasn't any slots available so I didn't get a slot but now I've got one and it's very last minute, it literally starts in like 10 minutes so I'm going to reply to this email saying that I can do it because I'm feeling good after that webinar from Andrew Dobby from Made Brave and from uh, Young Entrepreneurs, no not Young Entrepreneurs, Entrepreneur Club. My mind is fried. Basically I'm going to quickly get ready for this crit. Uh, I didn't make any changes to my website today so god knows what it's going to look like. We're just going to roll with it. It's a crit, they're supposed to give me feedback so yeah. Let's, let's see how that goes. doing today we'll just roll with it morning everyone today is wednesday so last night was incredible um i had two zooms back to back so one was with um made brave and entrepreneur club and it was about how entrepreneurs and businesses can get through this whole situation that we're in and then straight after that i got that email and I was thrown into a Zoom with like 20 different people um, for this book crit. I was paired up with this really lovely woman called Adele. She was the Newcastle representative for this group. It was really interesting just hearing come from a completely different perspective. Like when I first joined the chat, it was just me and the two other people as we were waiting for the sessions to start again. And yeah he um they were just chatting away about how uni was for them and how they would travel down to london for crits and they would get cancelled at the last minute and then they would have to travel all the way back up to newcastle and stuff like that and i'm just like wow that sounds like how i'm kind of living my life right now i either run around to edinburgh or glasgow or i wish i could go down to london for crits but um the fact that they're providing this over zoom is amazing um I was super unprepared for my crit, of course, because I had 10 minutes to know it was about to start. I hadn't worked on my portfolio during the day, so it was quite a, like, chatty kind of like, okay, I know this isn't this and this isn't this, and she's like, no, that's okay, don't worry, don't sell yourself short. That's the main thing I'm telling you right now is don't sell yourself short. And she gave me some really good pointers as to what to be working on with my portfolio, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so the main part of this was um, I I wanted to uh, just discuss the, the remote uh, or the assessment handling guide and also the Behance just to flag it up to you guys first just to get your viewpoint before we send it to the group. But before we maybe even get into that, um, I was just wondering if you guys have anything you want to um, bring up on behalf of the class or anything that's uh, you're aware is still a problem for the, the group as a whole? This week has been quite intensive in terms of there's been a lot of meetings, a lot of video calls, a lot of Zooms and just a lot of 
chat. Because those past few days have been quite intensive and just a lot, I decided to take some time off for myself and just focus on feeling better and being maybe a bit more healthy in my choices. Taking time off is definitely something we should still be doing even when we are permanently taking time off in this time. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like because in my free time I normally work on my personal projects or work on uni work or work on something, I don't really take time off to do nothing. So I've actually spent the last three, four days doing nothing. That means sitting on the couch and watching RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, wearing a face mask and drinking gin, or going for a run and being super healthy and just spending time with Mark. Or that's playing Animal Crossing on the Wii for a good few hours and just forgetting about the world outside. Taking time off means physically not doing anything on my laptop basically because even if I was to sit and draw or animate or do video stuff, bye. It's a lot. So yeah, I don't really know what's been filmed this week for this vlog, so I'm sorry if it's kind of dull, but I need to take some time off to recharge and get back into the game. Next week I've got quite a few things going on, like um, I actually got a new project to come in. <laughs> Who'd have thought somebody would want to pay someone to do some animation right now in this fucking time of shit? but potentially have some new work coming in. So that'll be next week. And I'm going to be working more on some more video editing again um, because I've not done much this week. Sorry this week's vlog's been pretty dull, but thank you for watching anyway. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys.